This video will demonstrate how to flush the autoclave as well as perform a biological indicator test when running the autoclave. Prior to turning on the autoclave, it's always good practice to flush the steam boiler first. To flush the steam boiler, first turn the red knob counterclockwise until loose, about 5 to 7 turns. Then pull the yellow lever downwards. You should be able to hear water drain out and see a drop in the water level through the glass tube. After the draining stops, pull the yellow lever back up and tighten the red knob by turning it clockwise. The water level in the glass should rise back up. Biological indicators should be used to verify the effectiveness of the autoclave on a monthly basis. To include a biological indicator with your load, first attach a string to it. Then lower the indicator into the bag, placing it at the center of the load. Make sure the strings hang out slightly. After autoclaving, pull the biological indicator out of the bag by using the string attached. Allow it to cool for 10 minutes. With a plastic crusher, carefully break open the autoclave biological indicator ampule along with a control ampule and place the two indicator ampules in a small beaker. Proceed to incubate at 55 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. The color of the autoclave ampule should remain purple, indicating that the autoclave is functioning effectively. In this case, log the results in the autoclave record and send it to risk management services. If the color turns yellow, then this indicates that the autoclave did not function effectively to sterilize the load. In this case, report immediately to the lab technician and handle the loads as contaminated.